Oh my gosh. Look at the size of their bottles. Bruh. Dog. I've never seen a Coca-Cola bottle big as a milk carton. That joint is this big. It's it's like this big. To call, so they took complaint. I hold it in until it rain. I fought demons out the fame. I spent millions on terrain. I treat my bitches like Diana. Pretty princess, hold a fan. Two thousand three Dutch and Cabana. Jeans make her ass look fatter. We won't catch him outside. He don't got no money for the backup. I ran thirty million in the ground. Baby, now I'm back up. She a city girl on the rail racing. Now she act up. She come back. I make her pack up. Set her home on spirit. Something in my spirit made me not believe I fear. Investigated Mexico's deadly Coca-Cola addiction. Mula, Mexico, the town that worships Coca-Cola. The average person here drinks over a half Worshiping is crazy. per day. Almost 40% of adults are obese, and diabetes is the second leading cause of death. Over 35% have diabetes. Do you think there are a lot of people with diabetes here because they have sugar drinks? Mexico drinks more Coca-Cola per capita than any other country. But what impact is Coca-Cola? Oh, so they're making their bag off of mexico that's crazy i've never thought of that having on the locals health so it's not avocados it so much you said that wasn't funny you right be stopped i met up with the local named rudy to find out <gasps> look at that hey, you can't make this up look at all that coke it's coca cola coca cola, coca -Cola again so we're headed to chamula the coke drinking capital of the world would you say yes how did coke enter the religion of chamula the people in chamula they consider like every time that you need to talk with god they are like using like a, a rituality and then into the rituality is present the coca-cola hold on hold on did my man just say I wish I would praise God and then pull out a Mountain Dew. It's like that's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna suffice. What is that? People are drinking more Coke than anyone else on Earth. Yes. Here is like, uh, wow, it's, I really like it. You know? so the Mexican Coke really does hit better. Yes, yes, yes. In my, in my personal conception. Okay. Huh? And on our way to Chabula, I saw this. It probably does. It probably does for the amount of people. They're like, we're gonna put all of our quality ingredients into this. It makes the most money. Why not? You get more people. Okay. We got water. It's cheaper to drink the Coke than the water? Yes. Okay. Coca-Cola chairs. Look at this. Oh, they have Coke right there. Quantas botellas de Coca-Cola bebes al día? Más o menos dos. Un litro. Un litro. Baffled by how Coke was in every store out here and far more available than bottled water. I wanted to understand what... Having Coke more available than bottled water is vicious also what is that sprite flavor why is it not oh no it is clear it's just cans behind it i was about to say yo what geez coke used to conquer mexico but to understand that we need to understand their pricing strategy a little over a dollar we can get two cokes and you can return the bottle yes if you return the bottle it's, it's cheaper so if you give them back the bottle you get coke again Yes. For cheaper. Yes. Let's uh, analyze the Coke here. Okay. Three liters. Three liters right here. Yes. How common is this in a family household? Very common. Cuantos gramas de azúcar en aquí? They don't know. No, no, no. no one knows. Oh es más popular aquí en esta ciudad? Sí, sí, la verdad sí. Porque para usos y costumbres, por lo regular, por, es un ejemplo. Cuando van a pedir a una, a una chica para esposa de alguien, los típicos refuerzos que llevan son Coca-Cola. Okay. okay. It's like a bringing offerings. Yes, and that's offerings is Coca Cola. This is 27. So if I have 40,000 cases of Coca Cola, I could basically pull any Hispanic girl within a five mile radius. That's what he's telling me. <laughs> For 1.35. So it gets cheaper the more you buy. With Coke in every corner store in the city, the few water bottles available for sale are mostly the brand CL, which is also owned by Coca-Cola. Given the option between a nice, cold, sugary Coke and a water bottle for the same price, it's no surprise that people here are choosing Coke. But is Coke being honest and upfront about the health consequences it's having on the public? Rudy led me to this basketball court to understand a little more. Whoa! 
They sponsor the basketball courts? Yes, it's like a, they, they paint. Coca-Cola everywhere. They own the culture. This is crazy, a Coca-Cola basketball hoop. And look. That's okay, actually look. insane. That's actually insane. So they really do like, it's, they not joking. Like they're, it's serious. Like it's. <laughs> Coke is everywhere right here. This Coke sponsored basketball a court. A Coca-Cola basketball court Coke is a vicious ax. Sporting events since 2006 <clears throat> as part of their Ponte Al 100 program to promote exercise rather than drinking less sugary drinks like Coke. Despite research showing that diet is a far more important factor in obesity and diabetes than exercise. Today was the celebration of the Virgin of Guadalupe and Rudy said that during holidays like this, Coke plays a critical role in their traditions and sometimes even religion. Also is the social meetings and part of the tradition is like a to share some they are like a giving normally push and coke and in chamula where we're headed some even believe coke has magic healing properties and it's used in rich <laughs> <laughs> they think coke <laughs> they think coke over there is solving uh headaches it's like that don't work it's not an ibuprofen bro you don't just keep taking it it's a coca-cola bottle They think it's Benadryl. It's just like, it's not. Alich Ibahik the Asakal Chamele, Halpuchelchavin, Tataskak Alkondik, to catch a problematic. You think diabetes comes from stress? Well, we're all, you're all doomed. Yo, what the fuck? She thinks stress and yelling at each other turns into diabetes. What? Can we please get the information out to them? Why are they still stuck in last in the last update? What's going on? He's drinking Coke. Hola. Cheers. But with this much Coke here in Zincantan, I could only imagine how much Coke they drank in Chamula. First, we had to meet up with a local Sotzil native to get inside Chamula because this town is exclusively occupied by the indigenous Sotzil Mayan natives, highly suspicious of outsiders, with some even believing cameras capture your soul when a photo is taken. And Chamula has a unique autonomous status within Mexico and their own police force, where no outside police or military are allowed in the village and crimes are punished severely. Going so far as to lynch and burn people alive who have committed serious offenses. John, good to meet you. How prevalent is diabetes? Yeah, they need to get updated too. Why everybody don't got the patch update? Come on. You won't give them the patch notes, nothing. Vaya diabetes. Sin embargo, la gente no se pregunta cuál es la causa. Más bien desconoce las causantes. Solo es como se puede decir que Coca-Cola podría ser una causante, ¿sale? No exactamente Coca-Cola sea la causa. Since when did Coca-Cola become so popular in Chamula? 1994. Es cuando llega la, la empresa Coca-Cola en San Cristóbal. Look, look, look. All the soda. Okay, we are surrounded by soda and beer of all kinds right now. Do you sell more Coca-Cola or Pepsi here? Eh, Coca. Coca-Cola? Eh, Mucho más Coca-Cola? Sí, eh, Coca. Okay. Coke was everywhere. Even the babies were guzzling. <laughs> With Coca-Cola, other Coca and sodas, the predominant water bottle company, CL, owned by Coke. I could barely find any Pepsi here, and it seemed like Coke owned literally every beverage out here. Te gusta Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Coca. Coca-Cola owned water compared to the singular Pepsi. The kids sitting alone at lunch. Coca-Cola más or Pepsi? <laughs> Coca. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola? La Coca. Right over there, another Coca-Cola stand. Every square. People were chugging Coke as far as the eye could see with practically no water bottles in sight. I wondered how many bottles people drank. So how are they not dying of dehydration or anything? Or just like bad intestines? Cause like drinking soda every day, that's not gonna, that doesn't help anything. You're just destroying your body. There's no way, and it looks hot outside. Uh-uh. Let's ask the people here how much- But that Coke party bomb. They might actually. They drink. Coca-Cola, bebe al dia. Tres? Tres. Cada dia? Sí. Como una. Cuanto litres en este? Oh my gosh. Look at the size of their bottles. 
Bruh. Dog. I've never seen a Coca-Cola bottle big as a milk carton. That joint is this big. It's it's like this big. That's too much soda. Bro, that's probably like seven cans right there. See? Big old do two liter right here. Uh quanto litros al dia. Man, I don't I don't think she wants to be recorded anymore. See she doesn't look comfortable. It was like after you showed her face, she was kind of regretting See? it. Big old do two liter right here. Uh quanto litros al dia. Dos litros. Un litro. Yeah, so not only are they all drinking Coca-Cola, but we got sweets everywhere. Got dolces, oh my dolces, goodness, dolces. bruh. I know their stomachs be doing the Dougie every day. With highly processed, cheap, sugary snacks and Coca-Cola everywhere, I begin to notice a concerning trend. Tiene miembros de tu familia con diabetes o no? Si. Si, cuanto? Dos, creo. Say like a now, they are understanding like the Coca-Cola is too much sugar. Okay. You're drinking, no? Si, ya, ahora ya no, Coca, ya. Un poco más, mejor agua o un... Hugo, can you ask when they came to that belief? Tú conoces personas en esta ciudad con diabetes? Sí. Sí, muchas. Sí, beber mucho refresco. Sí. Yes. Es muy mal, sí. Es malo. Tú tienes miembros de esta familia con diabetes? Sí. Sí. Tú tienes? Ah. In in el pasado, tu bebé mucho Coca Cola o no? No. No. No no no. ¿Qué es la razón por tu diabetes? Pues no me dicen los médicos la razón. Unos dicen que por estrés, por genética, por por la alimentación, por hábitos alimenticios negativos. La dieta tiene responsabilidad por diabetes en esta ciudad? No. No. ¿Y tú conoces muchas personas con diabetes? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Y tú? Sí, también. Sí, sí bastante conozco. Tan, como unos amigos. Se dan tal vez como unos 10, 15 que conozco de que tienen. ¿Qué es las razones por este? Igual estrés. Estrés. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. See, and if they think that, imagine other countries that like know certain things and we be, like us people in america believe it's another way like we believe something and then imagine like all the way in like on the on a, on a whole nother continent like africa like <laughs> like imagine they see like our culture and they're like oh they think that's how they do x y and z and they're like they don't even know that's Crazy! Everybody want to withhold information because nobody I care for real. Este, pues no creo que no. Okay. Yo diría que no. He thinks diet has nothing to do with any of it. Yes, they are not do you think he's right? No, no he's not. There's no he's way, not. right? Yes, no, no, no. But they, they are not connecting. Dots need to be connected here. Yes. ¿Tú tienes miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Sí. ¿Se beben Coca Cola? Sí. Mucho. Oye. <laughs> he's a. He's a. <laughs> ¿Qué es en sus dietas de tus miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Creo que sí, el azúcar. Más que nada el azúcar. Have you guys seen a lot of people drinking Coke out here? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Crazy, right? Yeah. Like a lot of Coca Cola. Where's my phone? Hold on. Oh, yeah. He replaced his water, I feel like, yeah. Yo, what's up? Do you think Coca-Cola was strategic in placing themselves here? Oh, yes. Hell of a lot of my people. They worship Coca-Cola in some of the churches. <laughs> they absolutely worship it. They have shops where it's piled, I don't know, like three meters high, Coca-Cola cans and bottles, and it's just unbelievable. From most people you've spoken to out here, do you think they're aware of the health consequences of the excess cola consumption? No. 
No. No. Some of them even go to like little witch doctors or whatever you call them. And or Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, so. And you've seen funerals even on these streets, right? Mm -hmm. Have any of these people acknowledged like this guy died due to diabetes? Oh yeah, it's common. Yeah. You see people missing limbs and stuff like that. And really? You find out they're diabetic, but a lot of them are unaware, like really unaware. Do you have members of your family with diabetes or no? Tuve. Sí. Okay. Bro, yes, yes, he really does. Like just before you join, they were showing how much Coca Cola they drink, and like it was crazy. Like they were drinking like bro. I can actually. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna show you. Where the where the where the where is the lady? Ah, uh, cuánto litros al día? Dos litros. <laughs> Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Hold on. Wait. 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 Al día. Sí. Big old. Bro, look at the look at the size of the bottle. Do two liter right here. Uh, At least it's not, litros. bro. But like they drink so much. Un litro cada día. Yeah. So not only are they all drinking Coca Cola, but we got sweets everywhere. We got dolces, dolces, dolces. With highly processed, cheap, sugary snacks and Coca Cola everywhere. I begin to the original, like you talking about the ones in the uh, glass bottles. Concerning trend. Tiene miembros de tu familia con... Well, I can go back. ...aware of the health consequences of the excess cola consumption? No. 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 Some of them even go to, like, little witch doctors or whatever you call them. Yeah, and they, they try and... Where is this? It's, uh, Mexico. He's in Mexico right now. Well, I forgot the city, but it's... Uh, it's, it's Mexico. Cure the diabetes with a bit of Coca-Cola, so... And you've seen funerals even on these streets, right? Mm -hmm. Have any of these people acknowledged, like, this guy died due to diabetes? Oh, yeah, it's common. Yeah. You see people missing limbs and stuff like that, and you find out they're diabetic. But a lot of them are unaware. Like, really unaware. Do you have members of your family with diabetes or no? Tuve. Sí? Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Do you have members of your family with diabetes? Ah, sí. Sí? Yes. A todo? No, casi. ¿Por qué? Por el consumo de azúcar. Azúcar en la dieta. La galleta. Dolces, no. bebidas. Todo lo que es harinas. Wow, diabetes is everywhere. ¿Cuántas botellas de Coca-Cola se beben? I'm glad I'm skinny. Same, bro, same. Like, I... Uh, I can't, like... We are addicted, bro. With the rate of diabetes in Mexico higher than even the U.S. and their obesity rates close behind, the solution to this health crisis isn't as simple as switching out Coke for bottles of water. We have to understand why people are, are buying too much Coca-Cola because if somebody in the top of the mountain doesn't have money, the Coca-Cola say, okay, I come and I give you a fridge. I come and I give you mm. tables. And then say, okay, what do you have to do? You sell Coca-Cola. Mm. They don't have, yeah, Coca-Cola is mafia at the end. The problem is that now we stop buying Coca-Cola, but then we are going to be buying Ciel. So at the end, we are giving the money to them. And these guys, they are not going to give you back some money to pay to the state to have uh, health care, you know, like education, people in the top of Coca-Cola. Yeah, yeah, mainly. Yeah, they, that's basically the main reason why they have diabetes. Because even if they drink water, I don't even, dang, they go that deep though. They give you chairs and at that point, bruh, they got Mexico on a chokehold. You want to have every, every soda in all over the world, you know? Sure. That's the mentality. That's what is killing people. So we headed to the Coca-Cola bottling plant on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Oh my goodness. Cristobal. We are looking for a Coca-Cola deposit. Okay, we are on the lookout for a Coca-Cola deposit. I don't know what that means. What is a Coca-Cola deposit? <laughs> the biggest store is Coca-Cola. Oh, I see. This Coca-Cola deposit sells their Coke to small street vendors like we've seen. This bottling plant is one of the primary causes of this health epidemic because it drains over 1 million gallons of water per day, depleting the local source of drinking water and selling it back to them in the form of sugary Coke they typically choose in favor of the CL water brand that Coke also owns. How many of you struggle to get water every day? Yeah. Todos los días. 
está la coca. All right, we've made it to the Coca-Cola FEMSA plant here. This is where they bottle Coke bottles. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Coca-Cola drinks, gangs. The red. They work for the Coca-Cola plant. Yes. Es tu trabajo? Es mi trabajo. Uh, how many bottles per día? 300,000. 300,000 bottles per day. Whoa. 300k per day? Per day? In three days, they almost had a million bottles. Yo. All the flowers in there. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe all the lives they've killed. Curious to see if we could find the secret recipe in action. We threw the drone up to survey the area, but all we could see was the scale of how much coke was being produced and consumed here in the Chapas region. What the? They have environmental goals. Bro. Bro, bro, the only thing no I could probably say is it's probably fire. That Coca-Cola probably is way better than the one here. Yes, they are like a, a promoting like a yeah, like a hiring people all the time and it's like a more than five thousand people working. Uh, they are like a propaganda. After observing some of their rather hypocritical mission statements on the wall, I asked some employees that worked here if they knew anyone with diabetes. Quantos personas en tu familia tiene diabetes? Una. Mi mamá. Sí, mi hermano mayor. Tus tíos beben Coca-Cola. Obviously, countless people are getting diabetes. Bro, I've been to Cancun too. I don't remember. I went to Cancun, what was that, like, I think two years ago? I don't remember drinking it. Even though I was on a resort, I don't remember drinking it. I don't remember having Coca Cola, bro. I was mainly having daiquiris and, like, lemonade. Because I wasn't drinking soda like that. I should have tried it. And they had them in the glass bottles. Like, oh my God, bro. Oh, you got one at the airport. Okay, 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 okay. And I, yeah. And... But the problem is Coca-Cola is everywhere. You find it easier than you can find water out here. Well, the irony of these people Finding Coca-Cola is more than water is actually crazy. Diabetes that causes their death. Even six feet under, Coke has managed to ingratiate themselves in the culture of the afterlife here. Rudy took me to a local graveyard to see this. Like I said, I'm not going to praise God and pull out a, a Mountain Dew. I'm just simply not going to do that. They have Coca-Cola bottles next to, like, gravestones. It's like, that's actually crazy. Coca-Cola tied to the flowers in a two liter of Coke. Another can of Coke right here. Another bottle. They really have Coca-Cola bottles next to the, like, what? What what does that what does that what does that do? Rudy, what's the significance of these cokes? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not putting coke. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's actually crazy. They have Fanta and Sprite next to a Coca-Cola bottle. Yo. What what does that so that is why he's present in the cemetery. Even the flowers being held are in old two liters of Coke. Yes. Part of their lives. Yes. While they were alive. Yes. It doesn't necessarily have any religious connotation, but when it's practically everywhere, it almost becomes borderline religious. Ah, ¿qué es la razón por la Coca-Cola? Ah, porque solo lo ponen. Since the 1960s, it was their favorite drink when alive, but it's like. Uh, of all the things you could put on your yeah and you put a coca-cola bottle i wish my family would i passed away then they put a like don't put no soda bottle on <laughs> i would feel so disrespected targeted the indigenous population here in Chiapas with localized marketing campaigns that combined Coca-Cola with the symbols and traditions of the people here, resulting in the most loyal Coca-Cola customers on earth who drink almost five times more soda than the rest of the <laughs> You're going to drink it. Cost. I'm here with Marco Sarana. I'm a medical anthropologist working for as a, as a researcher for the National Institute of Nutrition. Is it too late to reverse this diabetes epidemic here in Chiapas? <laughs> Pulls his hand out, grabs it. More Empties it, drinks it. 
consumption of Coca-Cola. And also solving the problem of lack of adequate water. I mean, the, but we need to more investment in providing safe water for the population so we can promote. That's what I'm saying. They all go empty. <laughs> all the Coca-Cola starts going empty. This is also the responsibility of the government to give more information, to promote regulations. Due to Coca-Cola's recruitment of local vendors on nearly every corner of every street to advertise and sell Coke, clever marketing campaigns targeting poor and uneducated indigenous communities and political connections within Mexico, like the former president Vicente Fox, whose political career was conveniently funded by Coca-Cola and established a near monopoly on the local water supply, unless these people receive real education on the deadly consequences coke is having on their health it looks like coke will continue to kill the people here until there's no one left to drink themselves to death and even then they'll keep drinking rudy if someone wants to visit this beautiful country of mexico with you where can they find you chiapas experiencias stroke instagram go check out rudy right here come to mexico this place is epic also whoever has the most viewed tick bro i think that's what one of the people said too they was like they called coca-cola mafia and i was just like i'm i i guess